There we go. I'll invite a couple people just to begin with. Okay. Let's just start. What's up, good people? It's your boy, Leroy McKenzie Jr. We are live, Facebook Live. <laughs> Y'all know what it is. This is Facebook Live, but I'm coming to you today. Um, and we are talking, with, in a couple of, couple of seconds, we're going to be talking with this gentleman you see sitting to my right right here about being bold. But that ain't the end of just, it's not just being bold. But um, we are here for the author, the National Black Unity News Author Showcase, bringing you authors who are on a mission, have a message, uh, have a movement and are motivating individuals. You will you will more than likely not see these authors any other place, how other than, well, you'll see them hopefully in other places, but this is specifically the place to highlight authors, giving them the spotlight, the showcase to be able to give them a platform where they can talk about their, their great, phenomenal books that they have going on, going on, their message that they have behind the books. We're talking with people who have a message that they want to get out to people because it's important that people understand who they are, but not just who they are, but the message behind them. So we're going to, I'm going to take a couple minutes. Y'all know I don't do the bios and everything like that. I'm going to let him talk about himself in a little bit, but this is none other than brother Darren Ramsey, who is, is a friend of mine, but also a, a deacon at my church. So it's even more, it's even a, a more of a pleasure for me to be able to bring you this gentleman that is just doing some bold and crazy things and y'all will get that in a minute <laughs> some bold and crazy things right about now um but the i will introduce i will say his book uh, and we'll get into it that's what we're here for we're going to be talking about his book and, and the great things that he has going on and the message behind it but it's called uh bold and crazy faith y'all see that bold and crazy faith. So we're going to get into that. But before we get into the book and get, in, get into all of the other part of the conversation, I just want Brother Darren, Deacon Darren, to actually just introduce himself to the people, tell them who, they, tell them who he is, just a little bit about um, what you do, um, and, and all of those great things about you, and then we'll, we'll start the conversation. Awesome. Thank, <laughs> you. Thank you, Leroy. Well, my name is Darren Carl Ramsey. I am an author, uh, speaker, uh, publisher, uh, writer, um, and as Leroy stated earlier, I'm also an ordained deacon uh, at the New Salmon's Baptist Church. Uh, but my, I'm also an inspirational strategist. Um, I try to strategize uh, to bring out my God-given talents of uh, encouragement, uh, inspiring people, and helping people in general. But um, the name of my business is Diamond and Light Publishing, LLC. Um, and where we focus on all things inspirational. I also have a blog. Uh, my blog is Ramsey's Corner, uh, mm. where, again, my focus is all things inspirational. But for me, my thing is inspiring people, not just biblically or scripturally, but just to inspire people in general. Uh, so that's what I'm about. Um, the, the title to my book is Bold and Crazy Faith, the Inspirational. Now, something I didn't know about you because I did my homework. Right, <laughs> I did okay. my homework. All right. I did my homework. <laughs> and I did, I read his bio. Yeah. But I saw that you were quite an athlete and I saw that you ran, tra that you ran track and field. Yes, I did. And I was going to mention it to you uh -huh. and just bring in the conversation because my dad uh -huh. was a track and field coach. Okay. And you ran the high hurt. You ran the high hurt. Uh, I ran the high hurt. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought that was, that was really cool because I remember being with my dad yeah. um, at school because uh -huh. he was a high school um, coach, uh -huh. track coach, uh -huh. and being and watching the guys running track. Mm -hmm. And I always felt like the, the hardest um, event to run 
was the 400 meter hurdles. Yeah. And I remember Edwin Moses. I, I always remember him. <laughs> it's the hardest. I mean, not just the not just the 400 meters, yes. but you're talking the 400 meter hurdles. So not only are you just running around the track, you're running and have to jump over these awesome. hurdles. hurdles. Right. Barriers. Yeah. <laughs> and, to add to that. Right. And I, I, just, I just always thought that that was the hardest thing because it's an all out sprint. Yes. All the way around the track yeah, one time. That's right. And I was just like, it was just always, and watching Edwin Moses, it just always made it seem, he always made it seem effortless. Yeah, he did. With what he, what he did, yes, but he did. I just thought that was cool yeah. that um, I was reading about you running the high hurdles. I was like, oh man, that's, that's you know, that's, yes, that's really cool. Yes, and it just took me back to when um, my dad used to coach the track team yes. and, and teaching the fellas about running. Um, the different events, yeah. whether it was the sprint, the difference between running the 100 yard dash, mm -hmm. running the 200, uh, how, how you have to, the different techniques that you have to use right. in running each of the events. Right. And, and that has to go, go in line with what we're talking about, too, being bold and the techniques that you have to do to be able to be bold Amen. and crazy. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, you got to have some boldness for both of them. <laughs> so, um, but that's cool. But what, I, um, what I'd like you to start off doing is, I know we talked just a little bit briefly, you told people about a little bit about you and everything like that but but can you start off by telling people just something that they're not going to read on the bio sure. something that they wouldn't ordinarily know about you okay Darren, sure. that they you know, that they that they were not going to get in the re the book of the bio or the resume or anything like that, but just some fun thing about you something, that they might not that something know. Something fun about me. Yeah. All right, that's not in the bio. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and, and 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 doesn't have to do with my um, athletic af <laughs> accolades. <laughs> no, it can be that too. It, it can, can be, that be that too. Okay. Mm -hmm. Maybe we'll maybe we'll throw that in there a little bit later. <laughs> something uh, fun about me. Um, I think that. Um, one thing that a lot of people don't know about me is that um, I love hip hop. Oh, okay. And 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 and, and I should say that um, I can remember when hip hop began, when hip hop started. Mm -hmm. All right. And so um, I used to be. Uh, I guess I could consider myself a hip hop connoisseur. Mm -hmm. um, as time has gone on. I don't listen to hip hop as much. Much. Mm -hmm. um, it's mm -hmm. a little bit harder for me to understand with age and uh, some of the different, uh, you know, uh, uh, styles out that are out there right now. But uh, you know, when hip hop came along, you know, um, I was really on top of it. I'm a hip hop head too. Yeah, you know, I could go all the way back to, uh, you know, hip hop started up in the Bronx. You mm -hmm. know, I'm from initially from New Jersey. Oh, okay. Um, so I can I can remember those days. Um, Shauna, Shauna, we're both showing our age a little bit. You're talking about the hundred yard dash and the two hundred yard dash, and I think they're talking about meters these days. <laughs> <laughs> um, but um, you know, it started up in the Bronx, and, uh, and uh, the Ship Hill Gang came out in 1979. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, so I am old enough to remember those days. Yeah. Those That's times. the first rap song I think I remember yeah. with the Sugar Hill, the Sugar Hill yeah. Gangs. Yeah, that was so. the first hip hop song that went on wax. Okay, you know, we're talking about wax back on mm -hmm. you know on the albums. Right, right. Um, but right. Um, you know from KRS One to Rock Him uh, to uh, you know we go on and on and on. But I really enjoy hip hop, and now you know I listen to you know gospel uh, hip hop. Um, it's not as prevalent as it was in the 90s, I yeah. don't think, yeah. um, but um, I love music. Uh, mm. So that's a, a fun fact about uh, Darren. Yeah. Who's, your, who's your favorite hip-hop artist of all time? Oh, KRS-One. There he is. KRS-One, without a yes, knowledge sir. reigns supreme over nearly everyone. That is, yeah, that, so, yes sir. So, um, so I try to, even write in the book, uh, Leroy, um, I try to, um, not try to, I, I put a lot of my personality mm -hmm. and who I am into this book. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, you know, a lot of uh, people think that, and, and, and part of what I was trying to portray in this book, and even in some of my pro projects moving forward, mm -hmm. is that a lot of people think that Christianity um, and or religion is like so structured, and so they think of the rituals, right. you know, right. and they think that you right. have to be a certain way or look a certain way. Right. But you know, uh, you know, things are changing quickly, and uh, you have to be able to attract people. And you have to be be transparent because mm -hmm. people are they want to really know who you are. Right. And so right. I think I have some hip hop in this book. Oh, okay. And I have a lot of my personality in the book as well. Yeah, and and that's great. And and I think that I know one of the things that I found with with writing a book is that the more transparent that you are, yeah. the more um, people can can really get to know you. Yes. And understand you, uh, it makes it more relatable. Yes. To them. And, and they're more apt to say, wow, 
okay, this is something that I really want to read or really want to read because this person actually isn't afraid to, like you said, to be transparent. They're not afraid to kind of show who they, you know, who they are yeah. through what it is, you know, through the books that they that they write. And and I believe all of our all of our books, mo or at least most people I've known, their personality does come out. Yeah. In the book, you yes. just can't, you kind of can't, can't help it. Can't help it. Yeah, yeah. can't help it. Because I, I remember, uh, I was telling someone the other day that um, I was talking about the book that Dr. King wrote called um, Where Do We Go From Here? Okay. Chaos or Community. Right. And I, I was telling them that it was one of the, it was one of the most profound books that I've ever read. Mm -hmm. But I said, as I was reading the book, I could actually hear Dr. King's voice. Wow. Yeah. Through those words, it, I mean, and that's how you yeah. know yeah. you have something that's really that's really parent, really powerful, and that people can relate to. Like I related to the book because yes. I've listened to many of his speak, you know, many of his speeches and everything like yeah. that. Yeah. So you know the voice, yeah. you hear the tone, and he took what he what you would hear him saying yeah. and put it into a book. That's awesome. And I, yeah, he's a great orator. Yeah. And so they hear that and read it. That must be powerful. Yeah, yeah, it, it really is. And it, it's like I said, it's it's one of the greatest books that I've that I've picked up yeah. to ever read. And the crazy thing about that book is it was his least selling book. Okay. And yeah, it, you gotta make me want to go get it. No, absolutely. Okay. Do do because, go get because, it. Yeah. it. You will you will be you will not be disappointed. It will take your thinking to a whole nother level because he talks about the church. He talks about um, society. Mm -hmm. He talks. He encompasses all of that and what we need. The blueprint. Right. I'm talking for right now. Right, for right now. For right now. Awesome. He wrote this back in in the '60s. Yeah. But he gave us the blueprint we can use for now for leadership yeah. and for uh, for the church because yeah. he he lays in on the church oh, oh. about what they what they need to do. Yes. And and politicians and I mean white people. He yeah. talks about everybody. everybody. And the part that that we have to play, okay. and being able to accomplish what we want to accomplish. So it, it was a it's a great great book. So yes, yeah. I've been telling people that you know if you get that is one that one of your must have books. What's the name of it? It's called you said Where to, Do We Go From Here? Where do we go from here? Yeah, and it's called Chaos or Community. Is yeah. the subtitle? Okay, is, yeah. is the subtitle. Okay. But um, it is it is just an awesome book um for for, for people to read. Um, let's st let's start um let's st let's actually go here. Um, because I want to, um, I want you to talk about where you came up with the idea for Bold and Crazy Faith. Okay. And then, um, give us, uh, give the audience just a little bit, uh, you can tell them about what the book is about. Sure. And then we'll, we'll go into a conversation from okay. there. Okay. I'm going to cut this down a little bit because this, okay. this took place over a long period of time. Mm -hmm. Um, but, uh, over 10 years ago, um, God began to speak a word of faith to me. Okay. And when I say he began to speak a word of faith to me, he actually just kept saying faith. Mm -hmm. You know, you could speak, you know, you could speak a word of faith in you in a lot of different ways, but mm -hmm. he just kept saying faith, 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 faith. So I kept hearing faith. So I'm like, okay, God, uh, what is this faith thing that you keep talking about? Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, it was silence and then days and months would go on and God would keep saying faith, 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 faith. And, and so, um, one day I said, okay, God, you keep saying faith to me. What is this thing about faith? You know, um, you know, um, you keep saying faith. And in fact, you know, I got, I got crazy faith. And you know that. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then, and then, so, uh, you know, God goes, uh, uh, you know, uh, teach the people about, you know, talk to the people about faith, mm -hmm. teach the people about faith, just like that. Talk to the people about faith, teach the people about faith. And then, so I'm like, okay. Time uh, sharing my faith with people uh, as often as I could, you know, and I'm like, God, I'm already doing that, God. I, there was teaching, you know, teaching in, in church, mm -hmm. um, so I'm already doing that. So, what is this? So, God continued over the time, so faith, 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 and, and so uh, one day, I said, God, what is this faith thing? You know, you keep talking about faith, um, and then all of a sudden. The word bold came out of nowhere. Mm. It just came out of nowhere. You know, I'm like, bold, bold, crazy faith. I'm like, what is that? <laughs> you know, and, mm. and, like, and then, uh, you know, I'm saying, wow, that, you know, after, uh, you know, a little, uh, after a uh, uh, time went on, I'm like, bold, crazy faith. So that stuck with me. Mm. And I'm like, that sounds like the title of a book or something like that. Um, and then, so, um, 
he continues the faith thing with me. And then I'm like, all right, God, what is this faith thing? And one day out of frustration, I can remember it like it was yesterday. I'm like, all right, you keep talking about faith. What is this faith thing? You, you're being very persistent. You really must want me to reach a lot <laughs> right, of people. So right. right? You really must want me to reach a lot of people. And then I, all of a sudden, the same way bold came down out of nowhere, mm. I, I heard how to reach the masses. Mm. And then so I'm like, how to reach the masses? You know, and then God, you know, the way God communicates with us sometimes, you know, you ask him a question, he gives you a question as an answer. <laughs> you know, it's almost like he wants you to dig deeper, right? Right, right. And so I'm like, what is this? And, you know, how to reach the masses. And so I'm like, all right, how to reach the masses? All right, we know the masses is a lot of people. Mm -hmm. So God, you must want me to reach a lot of people. Okay. All right, so what? how do you want me to reach a lot of people? And then all of a sudden, book came to mind. And mm -hmm. so then I asked the question again, God, do you want me to write a book? And then I got peace. Mm -hmm. And it was just like peace. And I'm like, so it was a question, and then the peace, and then it was like, that was my answer. Okay. And then I'm like, wow, you want me to write a book? And then I proceeded to move forward into, uh, you know, getting everything together. Now, prior to that, had you ever written a book before? I had never written a book before. Have never and and leave it, leave it, and, and that's honestly, that's just how God is. You'd be yeah. like, you, really? Yeah, yeah, like, really? You want me to write a book? Like, where is this coming from? You know, that's, that's the way God is, right? And, and so, you know, um, and that took a long, I don't know if it's I'm hard-headed or whatever, you know, or whatever. I mean, I kept asking, and the amount of time took is what it was, you know, and, mm. um, and then so uh, it took a long, like I said, over 10 years. Okay, okay. And then so um, after I got that final confirmation and the mm -hmm. peace that comes with that, um, I proceeded to go forward and saying, okay, he wants me to write a book. Mm -hmm. And then so right away, I knew Bold and Crazy Faith was the title. Was title. That, there's nothing to think about. Right, that was right. pretty evident to me. That was pretty obvious that that's mm -hmm. what the, the, the book, that was the title of the book. And so after that, I decided to, uh, all right, so how should I go about this? Mm -hmm. So I had the title and then... Um, I knew that he wanted me to reach the masses, and so, and then I decided on my own, you need for this book to be you, you know, it's coming from God, but you need to put your own personality and the way you would go about right. doing things. Don't try to do something somebody else wouldn't, right. don't try to write like somebody else, <laughs> right. whatever, exactly. you know, um, you know, um, format is one thing, mm -hmm. but your personality needs to be in this. I'm like, so how do I go about writing mm -hmm. this book, God? What do you want me to say? What do you want me to do? Now, in the meantime, what I didn't say earlier is that over the years, while he had been speaking faith and saying these things to me, I had been writing things down. Okay, okay. On anything I could find. Right. Whether it was a post-it or uh, a bill in my car, an envelope, <laughs> sticking things on the console. Been there. You know, yeah, in a book here, you know, on anything I could find, on a cardboard, yeah. on a box. And, uh, you know, in some of my, you know, we, my wife and I have moved a few times and even in, in our transition, I've actually found bits and pieces of oh, my writings in it. And some of them I, I use, but, <clears throat> but it, it went on for so long and I never really knew at that time that he wanted me to write right. books. So I never really kept them in one place, gotcha. uh, but I had a lot of it here still. Right. Right. And, and, and so I proceeded to, 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 to formalize uh, <clears throat> what he wanted me to do. And then, uh, you know, we can go into that later on if you want. But as far as the outline and all that stuff, the formatting of, of, of writing the book. And, and, and that's awesome. Now, can you, can you talk a little bit about what, well, tell the people what Bold and Crazy Faith, what the book is about. Sure. What What is the reader going to get from reading Bold and Crazy Faith? Give us a, sure. just a little overview of, of what the book is about. Sure. So the book, Bold and Crazy Faith, is uh, the level of faith that you need in order to fully fulfill the purpose that you have, that mm -hmm. God has for you, mm -hmm. to reach your destiny. You need, to, you need to operate in bold and crazy faith in order to, 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 to live in the abundance that God said he came for. He said, to, I came that you might have life and have it more abundantly. Mm -hmm. And so God wants us all to have an abundant life. Okay, And so in order to do that, you have to have bold and crazy faith. Now, you don't get bold and crazy faith from the beginning. We all start off as new babes in Christ. Okay? <laughs> Absolutely. The you know, yeah. Bible says that you know, new, newborn babes desire sincere milk. Okay, So we all start off from the beginning. So the book is to, is to, is to show you that no matter where you are, and this book will meet you where you are as a mm. Christian. Okay? So people, oh, I've been saved for 25 <laughs> years. This book is for you. Mm. Or I'm a new Christian. I'm not deep like that. Mm. This mm. book is for you. And so 
along with the levels of faith that we obtain as we grow. You know, the sanctification, sanctification process means that we are getting better and better every day. We're being set apart to become holier and holier every day. But we never fully arrive. Right. Okay. Right. You know, we're trying to reach that mark. Right. We're trying our best to, but we never fully arrive. So, you know, you know, the Bible also says you only need faith the size of a grain of a mustard seed. And we all have that from the beginning. All right. So you start off there, and then as you mature as a Christian, mm-hmm. you, your faith grows. And then this book takes you on this journey. So we want to help people increase their faith. Because the subtitle is How to Increase Your Faith and live a bold and abundant life in Christ. And we do that by reading the word, studying the word, and, and surrounding ourselves in the word. The more we're around the word, our faith builds and grows mm-hmm. as time mm-hmm. moves on. And so the book also takes you through your Christian journey. Oh, okay. And so I've designed it that way mm-hmm. to take you from the beginning to the end. And, 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 and the end means when you fully obtain bold and crazy faith. Mm-hmm. And so it's a journey. It takes you through the Christian journey. So we start off with salvation, and then the book starts how you build your faith from the beginning. Mm-hmm. And then it's like, okay, then you need to maintain what you have. Mm-hmm. You need to grow. You need to maintain. You need to sustain what you have. There's going to be some fights. <laughs> so we talk about facing the enemy. Mm, okay? Absolutely. Because right? as a Christian or as a mature Christian, you know that this Christian journey is not all peaches and cream. And okay? not at all. It's not all a bowl of cherries. Right. All right. So as you continue on, you're going to have to have some tools mm-hmm. to face the enemy and to sustain. And then you continue to grow through it. And, then, and like I said, the book ends with God's promises. Mm-hmm. And, and, so, and you talk about those tools that we need, whether you are a mature Christian or whether you are a beginning Christian, because we all need to be um, equipped. Exactly. And, and I think even if you are you know, a, a mature Christian, we should always be learning. That's right. And always be um, strengthening ourselves. That's because right. to me, and, I, and I, when I think of your title, Bold and Crazy, it's more than just a, a, begin, a person who is a beginner. Yes. We have to be bold and crazy. And even in the time that we're in right now, oh, yes. we have to be, we're the ones that should be even more bolder right. and more crazier than everybody That's because... Right. I know that people are looking to those who are in leadership, yeah. those who are supposed to be um, standing up That's right. in this day and time yeah. to be able to be the calming or the, even not just the calming, but also the, the steering That's right. of how to direct people through time, such a time as, as we're having right now and yeah. everything like that with, you know, with, with the stuff that's going on and stuff like that. So it is, I mean, to me, I think when I think of bold and crazy, Faith, I think of leadership. Yes. You got to yeah. be bold and crazy. <laughs> you believe this thing because you're a witness. Right. And, you know, one of the chapters in the book is boldness in your witness. Okay. And okay. people are watching you. Mm-hmm. People are watching Absolutely. us all the time. We're not perfect. We don't claim to be perfect. But, like you said, Leroy, in these times, a lot going on. Yeah. People are going to try to see, how are they going to react to this? Right. Are they still going to be talking that bold and crazy faith now? Right. You know, or, or, you know, he's scared. You know, you got all kinds of stuff going on out here. And so where's that bold and crazy faith now? Oh, I still got it. <laughs> With God on my side, I can't lose. <laughs> Absolutely. You know, when you have God on your side, you cannot lose. So you stay in the word. You continue to read. You continue to surround yourself with good people. Yeah, you got okay. to. Okay, iron sharp as yeah. iron. Yeah. Uh, am I my brother's keeper? Yeah. And, and, and you have accountability and partners like myself. Like, Leroy, we got, should we tell them how we started off, how we got to know each other? Yeah, absolutely. I'm yeah. not trying to hijack the interview, <laughs> but I, I, that just falls in line with, you know, mm-hmm. the Power and Disciples magazine. Yep, okay. absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. And the, the thing of it is, when you when you surround yourself with like-minded people, yes. it puts you in places, like you said, where, right. you, where you continue to meet yes. other people who are like-minded. That's right. And, and you develop the relationships. And that's one of the things that is so, so, so important yeah. to me. I know is building relationships yes. because it does assist you in being able to be bold and crazy because yes. you can have someone who will hold you accountable. That's right. Oh, you said this. Yeah. You said you're going to do this. Yeah. Where are you, where are you doing that? <laughs> <laughs> you know, where are you with this? Or where, you yeah. said you were going to have this, you know, have this or do this or you wanted to do this or do that. You know, let's... You know, let, let's go. Yeah. You know, let, let's get it done. And then even um, even you have someone or you have someones to be able to lean on. Yes. 
because, like we just talked about, as leaders, sometimes you feel like you're on that island. That's right. And you need to be able to have those people around you that can encourage you. Because even in the word, um, and correct me if I'm wrong, because you probably studied more than I have right, about right. it. But with um, with was it Moses that had Aaron that held his arms up because he couldn't hold the he couldn't hold the staff up. Well, I, I'm trying well, to remember Aaron, what, you know, what the felt story that, was. You know, how could he walk in, in Moses' shoes? Right. You right. know, like right. you know, Moses for one, at one point is like, you know, why should he be a leader? Why why should I be a leader? I'm not, you know, this gifted and mm-hmm. you know this that and the other. And so Moses wonder, why should I be a leader? And then after that, Aaron's looking like, okay, you want me to be a leader now? Mm-hmm. I can't stand in Moses' shoes. Right. And right. so right. accountability, we all hold each other up. You know, and I, I want to say publicly, Leroy, that um, Leroy has been, he's been doing it big for a long time. <laughs> um, Leroy has been one to, Leroy always sends me, uh, you know, different invites uh, to different events on, on Facebook, on, on Instagram. Um, you know, he's somebody that's been in the industry a lot longer than I've been in the industry. And so I look at some of the things that he's doing. Um, he has what two or three books out? Yeah, two, yeah. Well, two. I have actually seven. So, ooh, so seven <laughs> books. Wow. Right. So he's doing a lot, and uh, you know, in the bookstore, your book is there. I have your book, and um, I see a lot of the things that Leroy is doing, and um, you know, um, you know, people in this day and age, we say we borrow from each other or Absolutely. you emulate, but it's good to have good people around you uh, that are leading the way um, and that you can follow. Um, Kevin Wayne Johnson is another yes, brother. Yes, yes, I was coming, I, I was trying to make it down to the gift. Uh, oh, shop. okay. The, uh-huh. Was it twenty four seven? Yeah, twenty four seven. Yeah, yeah. I was yeah, trying to make too. it down there. Oh, okay. And uh, I was running behind on my schedule, so I ended up I had two things on my schedule that day: oh, okay. the Howard County Library, the Savage uh, Branch. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, they had an uh, 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 author showcase there, mm-hmm. but I had both of you guys on it, <laughs> and, and I was trying to get down there. But Leroy is busy, um, and I know you know he's interviewing me today. And, uh, but I just wanted to put that out there publicly that, you know, he's doing a lot of great things. And because of him, uh, you know, it's helping me out a lot. Oh, I, appreciate, I appreciate it. I appreciate, I appreciate it. it. Thank, you, thank you so much. I mean, but, but that's what it's about. It is taking all of us to be able to, that are like-minded. Yes. Because we're, I, and I put it like this, um, I call myself the impact chaser. Yes. Because when you chase the impact, you change the world. Yeah. And, and I, I started just, you know, maybe several months ago, something like that, I just started looking and thinking about people who impacted, who had an impact just in the world in general. And I and I was just like, man, everybody who I've looked at that has impacted, had some kind of impact in some kind of way changed the world. Yeah. Sure. So I'm like, when you, and it wasn't to, to, for me, looking at them, it wasn't about the money. It wasn't about the fame. It wasn't about them chasing the fortunes and everything like that. It was about changing the world. Changing the world. And, and I just came up with that tagline, when you chase the impact, you change the world. And I've been purposeful in making sure that the things that the, and the people that I have around me were impact chasers. Yeah, that's good. And, and, and because I know together, you know, I, you can try and do it by yourself. Yeah. But you're more powerful when you have a collective and you're around people who have that same mindset, who want to change the world and who are changing the world. Because this world we live in, we we know it's a battle. That's right. We are are in a battle. And the more people that we have in that battle with us, the the easier, not to say the easier it makes it for us, because we know we have somebody that can encourage us, that can encourage others, that that we can encourage. Um, and, And I call it the picture in the glass syndrome too where we get poured into but we also pour into being the picture you pour into that's other right. people that's right and in the glass you get poured into yes sir they, they have give and take yes and there are times where you where you find yourself being the picture where you pour into people yeah and that's what it's about and then you find yourself being the glass where you need to get poured yes. into yes indeed and we all need to we need to yeah, have we need, need, to, to, need yeah. to get poured into and have yeah. that so especially those that I'll piggyback off of that especially mm-hmm. those that are in the business of inspiring people. Yes, absolutely. In the business of being impact yeah. changers and chasers and impact makers. Mm-hmm. Those in the business of preaching. Those yeah. in the business of encouraging, mentoring. Yeah. You know, yeah. when you're affecting lives, right. you know, we know there's a lot of forces out here. Right. Okay. Right. But you need every bit of support that you can get to help hold you up. 
because as bold <laughs> and crazy as we all think, well, some of us may think we are, right. as bold and crazy as <laughs> author Darren Carl Ramsey is wrote this book, <laughs> You still have weak moments. Absolutely. You still have Absolutely. weak days. You know. You still you have know? times that you need to call somebody. You know, maybe you know, talk to your wife or uh, your friend. Your but but you, you, there's still days. This, this is you know we we, we wrestle you know we against you know flesh and blood. You know we're spiritual wickedness in high places. Yep. And 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 you know, and they talk about more levels, more devils. Mm -hmm. the, the, the the more lies you impact. <laughs> Absolutely, the heart of the adversary comes out. Amen. 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 <laughs> so I need good sure. brothers like Leroy McKenzie to help hold me up, to help keep me straight. Um, and uh, you know, and then you were saying also earlier, and then um, uh, my mentor um, says this: "You are the average of the five people that you surround yourself mm -hmm. with." Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. um, I'm, I'm, I'm trying my best. That's not a strength of mine. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm somebody that kind of stays to himself mm, a lot. Yeah, um, yeah, me too. <laughs> and, and, and so I'm trying to, you know, um, you know, start surrounding myself with people and mm -hmm. not just for networking purposes right. only. I mean, right. that's good. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I, I've been doing that. I know these are things that I need to do, mm -hmm. but I'm trying to start surrounding myself with good people right. and people that are going in the same direction that I'm going right. in. And that's really big yeah. for me right now. Yeah. And that's a, a, a great thing that my mentor taught me and is teaching us is that you're the average of the five people that you hang yourself yeah. around. Yeah. I mean, because I, I always remember when, when I was younger growing up, that was one of the things that my mother always, always instilled in, in me and my sisters was you, you have to be careful of who you allow into your space. Yes. Because that it, it, it plays key, and even now as adults, it's even more yeah. of a key. Because there are those times, there are those days where you where you're not you 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 know that you you're struggling, you're going through something or whatever, and you need you need those people that are around you to be able to even if it's just to talk, like yeah. you say, just yes. to be able to talk. I'm trying to figure this out, and I can't figure out what this was, or we may just go whether it's family issues, whatever issues that you may have going on. Mm -hmm. Just knowing and having uh, someone there or people there that you know you can count on, yes. and and as we you know we talked about being hip hop hip hop heads and yeah. being older is even more important for me now because mm -hmm. we are getting older yes. and we see that people are passing on. Yes, uh -huh. yeah, yeah, you know, a lot. Yeah, a lot. Yes. People are passing on, so it's even more those relationships um, take even a more importance to us. Um, I know for me, they yeah. take on even more importance now uh, than ever. You know, and everything like that. So. You mentioned earlier yeah. that this that you hadn't written a book yes. before you wrote this. Right. So talk a little bit about you having to put the book together and what process you went through. Because if you hadn't written before, how you came to find out, figure out what you needed to do, and you know, a little bit about those steps that you took to be able to, okay. to, be able to put and, the book together. Okay, so I'll go back and so this is the first book that I actually wrote an ebook. Oh, okay. Uh, mm -hmm. and, and and it was a I'll, I'm going to call it a mini ebook. Okay. And mm -hmm. I created the ebook. Um, to as a marketing, you know, it was, it was also it was, it was to inspire people, okay. but it was also to build the strategy in my marketing plan. Mm -hmm. And so I did release an ebook. Um, I didn't put it on Amazon or anything like that, but I do own the rights to that ebook. Uh, but this is my my first uh, you know, real work, I, I should say, as far as uh, being an author. Uh, putting it together, uh, I, I mentioned earlier I have a mentor. Uh, mm -hmm. Her name is Tressa Oswell Smallwood. Okay. Um, a lot of people know who she is. She's a publisher. Okay. Um, she's an executive producer, um, writer. Mm. Um, but um, uh, you know, when I first you know embarked on this, and God gave me, okay, I want you to write a book. Mm -hmm. I said, okay, all right, I can do that. Um, I've always had a passion to write. Okay. Um, so He knew my gifts. I, I, I believe. <laughs> Um, but I said, you know, this is pretty heavy. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you want me to reach a lot of people. I want to go about it the right way. Mm -hmm. And then also, honestly, I wanted it to be successful. Right. So I said, you Absolutely. know what? I'm going to try to find somebody that knows what they're doing, somebody mm -hmm. that's done this before. And so I met my mentor. Uh, okay. She's awesome. She's given me a lot of advice. But um, she's the one that really, and, and before I met her, I actually had the titles. Out, so I had an outline mm -hmm. of only the titles. Okay. Okay. Um, I knew what the titles of the book were going to be. Okay. And basically, I chose 14 influences mm. uh, to be, or 14 techniques or principles okay. to be the titles of the book. Mm -hmm. But I had that to start with. And then I met her, 
and she expressed to me the importance of formulating an outline mm-hmm. so that your book can flow a lot better. Absolutely. And so she just really, you know, um, showed me exactly, you know, what the, for, what the outline looks like. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I'm familiar with outlines from, from school and all of that, but she showed me exactly how they should flow. Okay. And then, and then I went from there. And mm-hmm. then I, I, I formulated the, the outline to the book, um, to the writing of the book. But the book itself, um, it's broken out to like five subcategories. Okay. Uh, first, you have um, a um, inspirational quote or mm. an inspirational celebrity quote. Okay. All right. You have quotes in there from Tyler Perry. You have quotes mm. in there from T.D. Jakes, Bishop T.D. Jakes. Mm-hmm. Uh, you have a few of uh, uh, Mary J. Blige. Oh wow. You know, okay. Hip hop R and B influence. Uh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> uh, you have Kale Devers, an athlete. She's mm-hmm. actually a hurdler. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you have some celebrity influences to give the book a little bit more kick. Okay. And I and I specifically chose uh, quotes from. Uh, celebrities that were believers, mm. so, so, mm. so they are believers. Mm. Um, and then the book is uh, broken down into uh, the inspiration, okay. which was the main inspiration to, 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 to line and tie in with that with the title. Okay. And the inspiration was that main um, part that was supposed to uh, tie in um, um, and inspire f- uh, f- for that uh, particular chapter. And then b- below that, you have the life experience. Mm. Okay. And then below that, you have a biblical example okay. to help show, you know, point out in the Bible, oh, hey, wow. this is what the Bible says about Bible this talking. particular uh, technique. And then um, I have a notes page, and I call it an observation page, bold observations. Okay. It's at the end of each chapter. So the book is actually a workbook also, Leroy. Ah, uh, so you have yeah. the chapters, but at the end of each chapter, you have about six pages of bold observations that you can track your observations. This is what I'm getting while I'm reading this. And then you have final observations <laughs> and actions because once we get the meat and we, you know, we, we get, the, you know, what, you know, what, what the observations that we're getting, we're getting the word, we're going to say, all right, we're going to jot this down and then this is what we're going to move out on. Because mm-hmm. anytime you're, you want to have a plan, you want to have actions. I so, love that. I love that because people think that a lot of times when it comes to nonfiction books mm-hmm. and the way that I'm, I'm a, extreme advocate for doing the work yes if you're trying to get from somewhere to somewhere yes you have to have a a, a blueprint and and you have to have work that you have to do so i like that you yes, reading the book and reading the book then they're, they're not only reading but they have hey this is the action that i want you to do behind what i'm telling you to yes, do yes that's the only way you're going to be able to that's get bold way. and crazy you can have all the faith <laughs> Faith takes action. Yeah. Faith without works is dead. Is dead. Okay. That's what it says. Okay. <laughs> I love that. I love that. I love that. So yeah. So folks will will certainly not just read the book, but they'll actually um, have some work to do behind yes, the book. Yes, you do. Behind and along Gotta with the book. So got to do got to do the work. Yes. And I always think about um, Elanya Van Zant and her yeah. show um, and how she talks about people. You've got to do the work. And she doesn't just tell you, okay, here's some surface level stuff that you got to do. You've got to go deeper into what it is that you're trying to fix. Yeah, we've got a quote by Alan Yeah, Absolutely, yeah. She's, absolutely. she's awesome. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> one of the ultimate motivators yes, and, and just one of the ultimate teachers in healing um, and, and, be, and moving you from uh, getting to the core. Yeah. She doesn't let people deal with surface no, level stuff. No. She takes you to, let, let's get to the root yes. and let's pull that root up. Mm-hmm. It's like, and I hate to say it painful this way, but getting to the root canal. <laughs> when, <That's painful. laughs> That's but painful. When, when the doctor goes in and he pulls, he has to pull that nerve out. Yeah. You know, yeah. And, and do that. You got to get to the root of the pain. Yes. And and when you get to the root of the pain, that's where the real healing begins. Yeah. That's where you're able to to be on your your bold and crazy faith journey that's right that you that you own and everything like that so that's that's good stuff so y'all going y'all uh, while y'all reading y'all know y'all gonna have to do some work do a little bit of work <laughs> do a little do bit of work, work which i think is great Amen. um so let's talk a bit of um you just talked a little bit about the process um and i wrote this down because i told you i did my homework all right, all right. Okay. <laughs> but i love this because it was because it was on your website and i yeah. thought it was really great okay uh, and i thought it was something that i, I th- 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 thought that people could use um how does one um, initiate their plan to accomplish their goals and dreams. Uh, I saw that on there. Uh, okay. uh, and I want you to talk because I think that ties into your bold and crazy faith. Yes. So how do, you, how do you go about doing that? Okay. I actually posted um, on Instagram today a vision 
Okay. Okay. There's a post about vision. So Darren, at Darren Carl Ramsey uh, on IG, you'll see my post on vision. Um, but in anything that you're doing, um, you know, you want to, the, the first part of it, uh, you know, some people said first part, some second part, is you have to take initiation. Mm -hmm. If there's any endeavor, if there's any goals or dreams that you have, you have to first take the initiation mm -hmm. before you're able to fulfill them, before the action. Um, but part of initiation is research, mm -hmm. okay? And, you know, you got you got to do your research, you know, in this day and age with technology, <laughs> You can find stuff all over the place, <laughs> and there's a lot of good information in a right. lot of places. And um, but besides, you, you find it inaccurate information, mm -hmm. um, you know, or, or just going to just do your own research. Right. Okay, that's right. going to help you a lot. You're going to get to wherever you're trying to go a lot faster. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So part of that initiation is doing your research. So um, let's just say, for instance, um, I'm thinking about becoming a travel agent. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, do I know any friends of mine or colleagues that are already travel agents? Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. they could probably give me some good advice. Right. But even before that, I go to speak to them. I'm going to do my own research mm -hmm. because I'm sure that my friend or my colleague that's a travel agent is pretty busy, just like I am. Mm -hmm. And so before I go tie up their time, I'm mm -hmm. going to go out and initiate, take the initiation, and do the research on my own to find out what can I find out about this mm -hmm. myself. Right. All right. Now, chances are, if it's something that I really want to do, I'm already passionate about it. Mm -hmm. So I probably do know a little bit about it already. Right. Okay. But even on top of that, I'm going to go and say, all right, I'm going to Google. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go to a YouTube tutorial. <laughs> uh, I'm going to maybe go to the, the library. <laughs> okay. And so I'm going to take the initiation mm -hmm. to research what I'm looking to do. Mm -hmm. And so you're going to want to research anything that you're doing. So that's, that's like step one. Mm -hmm. That's step one. And so... Bold and crazy faith is basically saying, hey, I got faith and I'm trying to grow and increase my faith till I get to the point where I believe all those promises God made to me. You know, I believe that he will do exceedingly and abundantly beyond all that I can ask or think. And I really believe that thing. Mm -hmm. I'm not talking about ridiculous stuff like saying we're here where we are right now and I'm going to run and bounce and jump. And I'm going to be able to touch the moon. All right. We're not talking about that. Kind of stuff. All right. All right. That's, that's, we're talking about bold and crazy faith. That's just crazy. That's, that's, not just not crazy. Not. that's just crazy. <laughs> that's just crazy. Okay. Now we're getting into mental health. <laughs> and which is not funny. Right. We're, 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 we're being funny. We're having fun here. Right. And I'm just trying to stay. I'm not, you know, but that's a whole nother thing. Right. right. And, you know, but bold and crazy faith is saying that I, I believe that. You know, uh, what God says he will do, he will do. You know, I believe that he did come that I might have life and mm -hmm. have it more abundantly. I believe that if I study my word, so then faith comes by hearing, and hearing comes by the word of God, whether I'm reading the word of God, whether I'm hearing the word of God, whether the word of God is being preached to me, whether, you know, iron sharpens iron and we're discussing scripture or, mm -hmm. or, or life experiences. Right. I'm believing that time goes on and my faith grows and it builds that I will become more confident in the things that I, I want to acquire. I want to be more confident in the lives that I'm going to affect. I'm going to be more confident in everything that I'm going to do to, to be able to ultimately um, live out my purpose, to be, to be able to ultimately fulfill the destination that God has for me. Mm. And so, you know, research, initiation, research, and then we can go on and on throughout the process of, you know, scheduling, execution, um, actions, follow up, and all that stuff that leads all the way through fulfilling the entire goal or the entire goal or the entire destination. But first, initiation and research. And it all really, the very beginning of it, Leroy, is vision. Yeah. It starts with the vision that Absolutely. God has given you. Absolutely. You got to start. And I've, I've always said that it, it begins with that vision. It begins with the thought and yeah. saying, um, you know, where are you going? Uh, and I'll, and I, I think every time I walk by it, because, you know, at the, at the church they're building the, the, um, the center now. Yes. And I've been taking pictures uh -huh. as they've been building it. Yeah. 
And my, my mind is always, and, and I posted it a couple times, but it's always keep building. Keep building. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Yeah, because man, you man. will eventually get to where it is that yes. you're trying to go uh, with that pro with the process that you're going through. No yes. matter what it is that you're building, whether you're building Bold and Crazy Faith, whether you're building a business, whether you're building, you're writing a book, that's exactly. part of building as well, too. Yeah. But you, you, when you put the, when you take the vision, mm -hmm. Write the blueprint. Yes. I call it the black print, not the blueprint. All right, <laughs> the all right, black print. All right, all right. I like and, that. And, and then the implementation, which is saying, okay, I, I know what I need to do. Here's, I'm going to actually go and do my part, do the work that yeah, we talked about. That's right. And implementing what it is that I'm trying to get to. Amen. You know, and that's so, how we get there. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. So I, I love that. I love that. So what's next for, for Brother Darren Ramsey? Wow, you... <laughs> Leroy, I, I got a lot going on. I got a lot, and I'm thankful for it. I'm thankful. Uh, I got a lot of projects that I'm working on okay. right now. Um, I have um, actually a, a few things. I, I, can I come back and discuss? Yeah. Okay. Uh, All right. I want to come back and discuss them with yeah, you. I really don't absolutely. want to disclose uh, exactly mm -hmm. some of the projects that right. I'm working on, on because there's multiple projects that I'm working on. Oh, cool, cool, um, cool. But I got a lot going on. Uh, a few more books mm -hmm. that I'm working, working on. Okay. That I have outlines for already. Mm -hmm. Outlines are done. I have uh, two more books that the outline is actually oh, done. Oh, cool, cool. All right. Um, and um, I have some other uh, projects that I'm working on with other people, people. Uh, mm -hmm. that I'm, you know, we're trying to come together mm -hmm. um, and formulate them. And so I'll be disclosing them very soon. But I'm very, very busy and very thankful. Uh, you know, I'm a dualpreneur, uh, so I, got, I have my nine to five. Mm -hmm. All right. So um, I, I'm actually starting a new uh, 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 position uh, on Monday oh, okay. uh, with that. Um, but um, I, ha I have a lot of projects that I'm actually working on. Mm -hmm. That. Uh, if, if, if you're nice enough to have me back, I'll be able <laughs> oh. to disclose them very soon. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. No, cool. Absolutely. So now, how can people um, reach you, connect with you? And I say reach. I say connect. How do people? How can people connect with you sure. to be able to either purchase the book, yeah. uh, and then also, or if they want to have you come and speak, sure, they want to have you come and have you sure. be a speaker. Or sure. Well, you can find the book "Bold and Crazy Faith: The Inspirational" on Amazon. Uh, just put in "Bold and Crazy Faith" or Darren Carl Ramsey. Um, I'm, I'm happy to say that the book has been recognized as an Amazon bestseller oh. um, in a few different categories, mm -hmm. so I'm happy about that. Um, actually, the Kindle, I dropped the price on the Kindle, oh, okay. so the Kindle is now $4.99. Oh, okay. uh, I took, it was $9.99, it's mm -hmm. $4.99 now. Okay. Um, the paperback, uh, you can, it comes in either paperback or Kindle. Mm -hmm. um, you can find more about me at Ramsey's Corner, or that's Ramsey'sCorner.com, that's my blog. Um, and Ramsey's Corner, we're all things inspirational. Um, so, social media at Darren Carl Ramsey or at Dar Darren Carl Ramsey one. That's where you can find me. Absolutely. Uh, absolutely. And, and to speak, just reach out to me, uh, Darren Ramsey <laughs> at Diamond and Light Publishing, or I'm sorry, Darren Ramsey at Diamond and Light dot com. Um, that's my company, Diamond and Light Publishing dot com. Oh. And also, I'm offering publishing consultation services as well oh. with my business, Diamond and Light Publishing. And you can reach me uh, at Darren Ramsey. At diamondandlight.com for that as well. See, this is this is what I'm talking about. Being I follow good stock like, like minded I follow people steps of a good brother. who understand that it's you. not just about us, but it's about the people that we that that we and that we come in uh, connection with and yes. counter to 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 assist them in being able to um, to get and bring their vision to reality and everything right. like that. Because I, that that's exactly what what I did when I started. I learned. A lot of things, whether it had to do with the printing, yes. the printing aspect of it, writing the, you know, formatting the book, writing the book, and all of those things, and me wanting to take that information that I learned and be a, I call it being a, a conduit, for, conduit for God, yes. because information isn't supposed to just come to us; yeah. it's meant to come through us. Yes, because God downloads <laughs> information to does. us to be able to, right, to be able to filter filter that information through us, and who are we to be that? selfish where we think that it's just to, just supposed to be for us to keep inside of us That's right. instead of being able to pass that information on yeah. uh, and be able to pour into others so that they can accomplish those things. That's what generations is. I say it's every every generation's responsibility to um, to make the next generation better. Yes, indeed. You know, and we only do that if we pass on that information. Gotta pass it pass on. on that Gotta information. Share. So let's close it out. And I'd like you to close it out by just doing this. Give the folks just a, close us out with leaving with a, a bold and crazy faith encouraging word. Okay, bold and crazy faith encouraging word. 
So I'll start off with this. With God on your side, you can't lose. All right. With God on your side, you can't lose. Okay. Salvation is free. Salvation is for us all. Okay. You have an opportunity right now um, to give your life to Christ. You have an opportunity right now to come into the kingdom of God. If you first believe, all right, you have to first believe that God is real. You have to believe that Jesus is the son of God. And you have to believe and you have to repent that you have to repent and ask for forgiveness of all your sins. So it's really not that deep. Um, all you have to do is just, you know, just say, Lord God, I surrender my life to you. I believe in you. I, I repent. I just ask for your forgiveness. And I just ask you to come into my life. I want to be saved. If you believe and you repent and you're ready to change your life and you're ready to turn your life over to God, you could be saved today. So it's all about God. With God on your side, you cannot lose. Now, yeah, you will have to go through trials and tribulations. That's part of the process. That's part of the journey. But living with God and living with Christ is wonderful. Your life will never be the same again. And so I leave on that. It's, it's, it's all about salvation. It's all about knowing God. Absolutely. So y'all heard it. It's the National Black Unity News Author Showcase. Y'all can go to the website, go to the Facebook page, um, go to the YouTube channel. Please like, comment, share. I'm going to say that again. Like, comment, share the YouTube channel of the National Black Unity News uh, newspaper. You'll be able to pull it up. You can pull it up there. Um, go to the Facebook page. You can actually um, be, um, like the page as well there. Check it out. Check the website out uh, as well. And that should be, it's going to be T B N U, yeah, the yeah, the Black Unity News, T B U N, the Black Unity dot com is the website. Um, so you want to come on out, y'all. You want to go like, subscribe, comment to the YouTube channel. Check out the newspaper. The uh, you can get an issue. You can get the issue. The April issue will be coming out, uh, or the next issue. I should say the second quarter issue will be coming out soon which Brother Darren will be a part of. So you don't want to um, you don't want to miss that. You can subscribe to that as well so that you can get your get your copy of the newspaper. And as I say here uh, as I always say, chase the impact when you chase because when you chase the impact, you change the world. It's your boy, Leroy McKenzie Jr., the impact chaser. We'll talk to y'all soon. Leroy, oh. before you close out, oh. Leroy. I got something for you. <laughs> your, bro your brother comes with gifts. All right. So we got a bold and crazy faith t-shirt for oh, that is cool. brother Leroy as a token of my appreciation. Oh All man. Right, so that's for oh, you, that my brother. Cool. That okay. Is cool. Thank and then you. you also we have a wristband for you. It's a bold and crazy faith oh, I like wristband. That. I like that. It also has the URL, Ramsey's Corner, on the back and the ports of cross. All things inspirational, but that's for you, Absolutely. brother. Leroy. Oh, thank you. I appreciate thank you. you okay. <laughs> appreciate okay. you. Okay. Yeah, I appreciate and, you. And I appreciate you coming on, taking time out of your busy schedule to be able to come share with the people uh, um, just about your book, about your, like I said, the the four aspects of of what I call being a an impactor, which is your mission, your message, your your movement, and your motivation. Thanks. Sharing that with us and sharing with with the people out here. So we'll talk to y'all soon. <laughs>